Hello and welcome to Head Swapping Class. Um, so in this uh, exercise, we're going to um, take the head off of one of these characters and put it on the other, which is actually in this scenario um, kind of easy to do because uh, the shadows and the colors and everything um, match uh, pretty well, so it's not much for us to uh, select one of these heads, copy it, and we can paste it on um, one of the other characters' bodies or switch, um, switch Harry and um, what's his face, or what's her face, Hermione, and uh, what's his face? I'm blanking. Anyways, um, so in, in um, let's uh, let's show you how to do that first. So I'm going to just take a lasso tool here. You can see when I press down here, it gives me options, and I'm selecting the lasso tool. And um, if I select around the person's head, <clears throat> you can see it creates like a little selection set there. Um, and then from that selection set, I, using the keyboard shortcuts, I can go Control C. Uh, and then shift control V, which pastes that head right in place. You can't see it because uh, a little bit, it's a little off, but it's right there. So uh, let's just look at the head now for a second. Um, and uh, this image isn't super high resolution. Um, it happens when you get stuff from the internet. And then, um, so uh, just a real easy way to do this is to take the lasso tool and uh, trace around the character's head, getting rid of all the background. So now uh, I've actually have his head selected, but I would like to select the inverse of that. So I'm going to go select inverse and hit Control X on the keyboard. Uh, to get rid of um, the um, Potter in the background, uh, so it's a it's a little rough for compositing. It's a kind of a sharp, jaggy edge. Uh, so let's if I turn this back on, and for instance, we move Harry's head over here to Weasley's. Oh, hey, I remembered his name. Um, you can see that. Um, there's a, because he's got this green light behind him, there's kind of this halo going on. Um, it almost matches perfectly. It's Harry and Harry and Harry. Um, and we could even switch him with Hermione and see the colors match really well because obviously they're in the same picture. So I'm going to hit, um, I have this selected. It's on its own layer. I'm going to hit Control T. And that allows me to rotate it around so I can kind of match uh, Ron's head posture. Um, I can even uh, make this a little bit transparent. See how that's transparent now? And I can find Ron's eyes and nose and mouth and line those up with Harry's head uh, and then make this opaque again. And um, there you go, his head is on there. So let's clean this up a little bit. Um, I'm going to duplicate that layer. And I'm just gonna move him, we'll do Harry, Harry, and Harry. Um, move him over here a little bit. And um, we'll close that layer so it won't accidentally work on it. And now I want to take a um, eraser tool, but I don't want it to be a hard eraser tool. I want it to be a soft eraser tool. And I don't want it to be super strong. I want it to be kind of strong because um, I want it to create a, an alpha edge, which means that as I erase around Harry's head here, it's actually um, creating a little bit of see-through so you can... Um, um, it kind of 
blends a little bit better, especially here in the neck and stuff, right? I can just go in and erase. some of Harry's actual cheek, and I can see that green line still around his head there a little bit. And then remove it. Now, um, the neck came out okay, right? Because Harry and Ron, once again, standing right next to each other, exact same light, uh, much easier to do. Um, but I can still see Ron's hair because he's got bigger hair. So what you want to do is, um, in order to make this really work, we'll need to use the stamp tool. That's this one here. And what this tool does is, if I hold down Alt, I can pick a spot and then draw. Um, it copies whatever's over here to whatever's over here. So for instance, I'm going to pick um, this dark green spot here and you can see it it moves it over and I'm going to uh, move this over so it lines up here a little bit and then that way all I need to do is go up and around like that and you can see it kind of um, does a good job of blending except that I had um, I had it on sharp, so it made really sharp angles. But then you can kind of go back and work it a little bit so that you don't notice so much. In fact, I can go over here. Can get that going. And then I can do the same thing uh, over here. Put that down. Oops. This. And I'm drawing oh, behind his head. I'm on the bottom layer here drawing. So that's why it's erasing Ron's head pretty well and not erasing Harry's head. And then. Um, is more clean up of the background than it is anything else. Uh, reduce that, make it fuzzy. When you're working on a fuzzy background, it helps to have a fuzzy brush. so much. Okay. So that's a pretty good, I could have done better on the background, but if I remove Harry's face, you can see there's what's left to Ron. There's Harry's face. And we can do a similar thing uh, with Hermione, except that at this time I'm going to do the opposite. I'm just going to erase Harry's face. Um, Harry's our uh, body in here to make Har Hermione work a little bit better with him. So now, before where we erase the layer below, um, now I'm erasing Harry's head. And this is doing the same thing, but now I'm incorporating Hermione's hair onto Harry's head. And just going over it really kind of, oops, too much. I made him look weird and bald. Um, I'm going to have to go back in here with this. I've erased too much. I've done too much. Some of that hair back in, and maybe even paint some hair in.
give it a light green glow with painting some hair in. <laughs> And there you go, the three Harry Potters. Uh, and if you look here below her, I haven't touched her at all. In fact, I should have matched them up a little bit better. Harry's head could have come up a little bit on her. It would have worked a little nicer. There we go. It just works, which is great. OK, so um, that's all great. This is very easy to do. These are all the same. Uh, from the same picture, but what if, what if um, I had a picture of Tobey Maguire and I wanted to use that in Harry Potter's thing? Well, you can see Toby's here in a different sort of background. So I'm going to use his neckline here. And I'm using the, once again, the lasso tool. Kind of draw around his head. I'm going to control C, go back to my other picture, hit control V, and now I've got Toby's head here. So let's replace uh, the middle Harry Potter. So hide that, grab Toby's head, and then I can bring it over. So you can see. Uh, it's a he's a different color. He's all orange, and these guys are pretty green because whatever that is is super green. So we might have to do a little bit more to this character than we did with the other ones. So um, first, I'm going to match him up as best I can with his eyes and stuff, so we can get him. In there, maybe a little rotate. Okay, that's pretty good. And then let's try and adjust his skin color to look like their skin color a little bit. And that's really good because I have this to compare to right there. So if you go image, adjust, hue saturation, um, I can slide him more into the green. I can lighten him up a little bit and I can reduce the saturation. And I'm trying to match these two colors, the color, this color to this color. So maybe even a little bit lighter, but I can't go too far because it'll blow out the contrast of this picture. And then I want it to be definitely a little bit on the green side. Cool. I think that might be that might be too much. He looks really green. Yeah. Don't go that far. Image adjust. Hue saturation, bring him back into human, not Frankenstein green. Oh, that worked out well. OK, so uh, now we need to do the fairing in, right? So remember, I want to take out the rough edges around it. I'm using the eraser tool. I want to see if I can I'm going to leave this sharp edge of his thing. So if you use, you go to pick pictures that allow you to um, succeed. Like if you grab something that's totally different, it's going to be really hard to do. But if you grab a picture that's um, similar in the first place, um, that has like a similar pose or similar um, element to it or the same lighting like this he uh, I got kind of lucky with Toby here is that the lighting on this is kind of ambiguous whereas there's very definitely a shadow on this side Toby doesn't really have a shadow on this side but it's not showing up a whole bunch and then you can see I'm sort of going in and fuzzing out the edges a little bit And I think Toby's head is too big, just a little bit. Something more like that.
Oh, well, now you can see Ron's head behind him again. I should have just taken Ron's head off completely. Ron, you're a pain in the neck. All right. That's not bad. That is head replacement. Okay, give it a try. Um, I will put uh, these photos in there. You feel free to use your own, but remember, set yourself up for success. First try taking pictures or heads within the same picture and then swapping them and then try putting somebody else's head in there. You only need to turn in whichever one you think is the best one. Great. Good luck.